Are you thinking about moving to Tucson, Arizona, and you're looking for an area that has stunning mountain views, great options for hiking and shopping, as well as awesome restaurants? Well, stick around with us today because we're gonna take you around a very specific area of the Catalina foothills with an abundance of natural beauty and luxury. Let's get to it. Welcome back, or if you're new to this channel and you want to learn everything from A to Z about living in Tucson AZ, then click subscribe and tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Tucson, Arizona. Hi, I'm Jennifer Smith, and this is my husband, Dustin Smith, and we've helped hundreds of people just like you move to and from Tucson, Arizona. So whether you're moving in 12 days, 12 weeks, 12 months, we got you covered. Give us a call, shoot us a text or an email so we can help you make that smooth move to Tucson, Arizona. All right, so as we mentioned, we are over here today in the Catalina foothills. More specifically, we are in the Batena Canyon area of the Catalina foothills. So that's going to be basically the furthest northeast uh, section of the foothills. Yeah, main crossroads right here is going to be Kolb and Sunrise. And right there's where you're going to see a majority of like your shopping and stuff too, your grocery store, your restaurants. And that's a good route to, you know, head off to the west to more shopping, businesses, employment, um, or off to the south down Cold Road for everything that Northeast and East Tucson has to offer as well. Absolutely. And from here, just great access to, you have Bentena Canyon Resort that we're currently at right now. Absolutely gorgeous. Come here and have a staycation. You can just hit the spa, the restaurant, golf. all good options, golf, absolutely. Um, and then tons of hiking trails, right? Yeah, absolutely. So in fact, there's a hiking trail that the parking lot is joined to this. It's made in pools. So uh, definitely a popular one, about five and a half miles. It takes most people about three hours. It's definitely a more challenging route. So mm -hmm. lots of uh, like steep areas or slippery rocks. So not everyone's going to want to do that. But we're also not too far away from one of our favorite hiking spots. Which oh, yeah. I recommend to anyone visiting the Tucson area, doesn't matter where in Tucson you're staying, uh, going over to the Sabino Canyon area. So yes. you have a variety of trails over there. You have some trails that are difficult mm -hmm. and you have a lot of like really like maintain just you know beautiful nature walks you have some of them that are just paved where you have creek crossings um and they even do the tram there too so if yeah you, if you want to do like a like a cheater's version of hiking and take the tram uphill and then hike all downhill on the way back that's an option for you too or take it both ways if you have trouble walking it is just worth it to just go see the area it is absolutely breathtaking and then one of my favorite hikes up there as well is uh seven falls so that's a little bit more challenging we've definitely done it in a couple hours um we <laughs> had to jog part of the time that we were up there to make that happen but honestly you probably want to do the whole day up there if you're going to go to Savino Canyon or at least a good part of the day uh, because it's just you can really just stop and check out so many different sections of Savino Canyon. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's been a joy along the whole way and they call it seven falls too because it's seven waterfalls that go down into the pool that you hang out at. So you go up there after a good rain mm -hmm. or uh, you know if you're up for a hike when it's a little bit colder in the winter seasons for the snow melt. Absolutely it's and then right here we're, like we said, very close to shopping and restaurants. So oh, there's a Bashes within five minutes right here. And some of our favorite restaurants, you have El Charo for Mexican food. You have Piazza Gavi for Delicious. Italian. Yes, we love that. Um, Commoner and Co. And then within about 15 minutes, you can be over to Long Cantata. You have AJ's uh, Fine Food grocery store, basically. Um, and then an outdoor shopping mall essentially long cantata it's gorgeous and more restaurants yeah that's probably the most like upscale shopping center that the tucson area has absolutely well now let's go head out and check out some houses see what you can get for your budget in the ventana canyon area let's go All right, 
something we forgot to mention that is one of my favorite things about this area is the proximity to the Catalina Mountains. Like you'll see, and it's hard to probably tell from the video, but some of the luxury homes in this area are just carved right into the side of the mountain. Like it is a sight to see. They are gorgeous homes. Yeah, everything, you can't hide from the mountains over here. You, no. know, you really have to be just lower than the home, right up between you and the mountains. Um, like even even this home right here, I mean, we're at the end of the street, so every mm -hmm. home up the street is a little bit closer to the mountains, but still from your backyard, you get to enjoy the breadth of the Catalinas, which is the most grand mountain range in the Tucson area. Maybe not the highest reaching, but you still get up in all those pine trees, different climate zones, and then it's just so like wide. There, there are so many trails. Catalinas are definitely the Tucson favorite mountain range. I mean, you have Summer Haven up there too with the the, the ski lifts and everything. Yeah, so. absolutely. It is it is just gorgeous. It's picturesque. I mean, it, all the mountains around Tucson are gorgeous, but my favorite is driving north up towards the Catalinas. And what's great is from up here too, looking south, you also have some great uh, city light views at night, which is also breathtaking. So you really can't go wrong in this area. Um, now, as far as houses, before we start talking about this house behind us, generally the single family homes uh, in the Ventana Canyon area are gonna start about 600,000. Um, sometimes you can find them for under that price point, but usually they're gonna need a bit more work. And they've been disappearing lately. Yeah. They're, they're gone. <laughs> they go quick. Um, and stuff all the way up into 7 million and up. So like I said, luxury. You get into those houses carved into the mountain, uh, you'll really see what we're talking about there. But um, for the house that we're going to talk about uh, right now, this first house is currently listed at 599,000. So right at that entry level price point we were just talking about. Um, and that, uh, in this neighborhood is going to get you uh, three bedroom, three bathroom and a den. This house was built in 1988. It's 2000 square feet um, and situated on almost half an acre lot, right? Yeah, just space all the way around here. Mm -hmm. And it's on a corner lot, you know, right as you come into the neighborhood. It is east and west facing, but you do still have some great mountain views as you can see from uh, driving around footage that we showed as well. I mean, just mountain views from almost every house in this subdivision. All right, so we have a couple more houses to show you. We're gonna jump up quite a bit in price point here just to show you uh, what you can get as you start getting up towards that million dollar range and over. Let's go. All right, so for this next property, we did step it up quite a bit, but we are over here in stunning Cimarron Foothills Estates. Uh, and this property is currently listed at 930,000, but with that, you're gonna get 2889 square feet, five bedrooms, three bathrooms. This house was built in 1981 and it's situated on almost an acre. And it's just gorgeous orientation here. You got north-south orientation with the backyard facing straight to those stunning Catalina foothills. Yeah, they've really <laughs> found a great way to take advantage of those Catalina foothills mountain views. So the backyard is just set up for hanging out all the time. They have yeah. a full length patio back there. So you can just sit, hang out, enjoy that. They also have a fire pit with wraparound seating right there. So when it cools down a little bit, you know, warm up by the fire, continue to be outside a little bit more. And during the summertime, uh, opposite of that, they have the pool back there with the full waterfall and even a water slide. So, I mean, oh overall, great use of the backyard, great use of the property. And I mean, in the foothills, a lot of the properties, you know, being set, you know, cut out of hills or on top of hills, mm -hmm. not a lot of them have a ton of usable property. Um, I mean, parts of the property just it don't really have anything you can do with it but you have all that space in the backyard even the front yard right here they have a great sitting area oh, yeah. on their front patio lots of parking mm -hmm. the loop car around, <laughs> uh, yeah loop around parking mm -hmm. i mean you could have people over servicing and not be you know interrupted at all so just tons of space for guests and mm -hmm. enjoyment and the owned and paid off solar oh right? yeah <laughs> gonna knock down those electric bills running that pool and that heating a little bit more absolutely well we have one more house to show you so let's go to it let's go All right. 
right, so for the last property, we wanted to take you over here into the prestigious guard-gated community of Ventena Canyon Country Club Estates. And this community is just stunning. It offers two 18-hole golf courses, you have two pools, you have lighted tennis and pickleball courts, and just a variety of options for different memberships depending on what you're into, which is really great. So, uh, you know, if you're interested in that information, let us know. We're happy to send that over as well, uh, especially if you struggle finding any of the information. It should be pretty easily available, but uh, we have all that information that we can just shoot over in a quick email for you. Always happy to help. Yep. Now, as far as this house. This house is currently listed just under $1.4 million. That's going to give you 3229 square feet, three bedrooms, three bathrooms. It was built in 1997 and it's situated on, on about 0.66 acre lot. Yeah, absolutely. And you can probably see in this picture the rocks. Um, oh, it goes straight into the mountain up behind us. So yeah. there are a few of those houses that are uh, carved out of the mountain sitting above you. I don't, mm -hmm. you know, they'd have to really, you know, walk up to the, the edge of their property to look down into yours. But in the backyard of this one, you do have your own private pool. Um, everything's kind of cut out of the stone back there mm -hmm. to make different, you know, levels of hangout areas. You have your built-in yeah. barbecue, built-in grill. And what's really neat is, you know, Jennifer mentioned, you know, some of these homes have uh, city views as well as mountain views too. Mm -hmm. Well, right from the house, you don't really have those city views, but they actually built a staircase into the mountain so you can go up a little bit higher and have those city views at night. So it is breathtaking. They've done a lot with this property to just make it a, like a real gem of the neighborhood. Absolutely. So that gives you an idea um, of just some of the options you have in Ventana Canyon. As we mentioned, there's there's a lot of options when it comes to single family. There are also options if you're looking for something a little more affordable uh, as far as condos and townhomes in the area. Um, but really, if you or anyone you know is thinking about moving to or from Tucson, Arizona, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text or an email. We're happy to give you any of the information about the area or any of the other surrounding areas in Tucson. And if you could give us a like, subscribe, and tap that bell for notifications, we'll make sure we keep you updated on the current market in Tucson, Arizona. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next video.